From colorful explosions to DIY ice cream, dry ice has a wide range of exciting uses. Its extremely cold temperature and unusual properties make it one of the coolest materials science has discovered, pun intended. Oh, and stick around to the end to find out how you can make some of this icy goodness for yourself. Amazing. Number 15, Explosive Fun. Most of us have given the Mentos and Coke challenge a try at some point. There's nothing more fun than a simple yet explosive reaction using basic ingredients. Dry ice steps it up a notch. The icy material, which is actually just carbon dioxide, or CO2, in solid form can get pretty chilly, as low as negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 78 degrees for our European audience. So if you get a hold of some, be sure to wear gloves. Because of the drastic temperature difference, pouring hot water on dry ice releases a large amount of energy, which is what causes all the atmospheric fog. If you contain this chemical reaction, things can get pretty intense. As the high energy particles of CO2 and water vapor begin to bounce around faster and faster, they exert more and more force on the walls of their container. Using high grade lab equipment will eliminate this issue. But where's the fun in that? I wanted to see what would happen if you contain the reaction in plastic bottles, each containing hot water and some chunks of dry ice. As you can see, like King Kong in the Arctic, this cold beast refuses to be contained and bursts out of the bottles in a fantastic explosion. Don't try this one at home. Number 14, Bubble Worm. To do this awesome trick, all you need to do is mix hot water, some dish soap, and a heap of dry ice together in a large bowl. Before you know it, you'll have your very own hyperactive bubble beast. Watch it burst out from the previously calm water like something out of Ridley Scott's sketchbook, turning your pristine home into a Lovecraftian bubble rave. The strange creature has not yet received an official name, but I like to call it the Super Smoky Ballistic Bubble Worm. Number 13, Big Bubble Trouble. Little smoke bubbles are fun, sure, but let's go bigger. With a simple trick, you can turn your bubble worm into a huge expanding jellyfish. All you need to do is take a large bowl, fill it halfway with warm water. Next, drop a couple of large chunks of dry ice in. After this, take some rope or a twisted cloth and dip it in the mixture of water and dish soap. Rub the mix around the rim of the bowl and then drag the cloth directly across the top of the bowl. This will create a film over the top, which will slowly fill with smoke, inflating into a giant bubble. Eventually, it'll pop in an oddly satisfying burst of white mist. Number 12, put a ring on it. This one takes a little bit of preparation. Cut a round hole in the base of a plastic cup and seal the open end with cellophane and rubber bands. Then pour in some warm water and a couple small chunks of dry ice. Once you see the smoke start to rise, hold the cup on its side and tap the cellophane covered side. You'll be blowing smoke rings like the best of them without any of the health risks. For an even more exciting spectacle, swap the cup for a plastic trash bin and use a cut up shower curtain and duct tape to seal the opening. Cut a hole in the base of the bin as round as possible. You'll need a lot more dry ice for this, but if you get it right, there will be enough force in your smoke rings to knock over objects like plastic bottles. More ways to annoy people, courtesy of Be Amazed. Number 11, Instafog. Ever felt like your home might be lacking something? Well, it turns out it is. Your home is in desperate need of some atmospheric fog. Bless your place with the charming atmosphere of a haunted mansion from a classic horror flick with this simple trick. Load up a large container with big chunks of dry ice and pour on generous amounts of hot water. The hotter, the better. The CO2 and water vapor, which is heavier than air, will spread itself along surfaces before tumbling down onto the floor. In no time, the room will be filled with a thick fog that'll turn your home into the most popular werewolf meeting place in town. Number 10, Smash Hit. One of the most incredible things about dry ice is what it can do to soft materials. When dry ice is mixed with ethanol, the alcohol reaches very low temperatures. However, as ethanol's freezing point is even lower than the chilly temperature of dry ice, it remains in a liquid state. If you dip a piece of jelly candy, like a gummy worm or gummy bear, into the mixture, it'll become rock solid and can be shattered like glass. So satisfying. And what's even more satisfying is when you dip a flower into the liquid, It turns brittle and crumbles in your hand with a satisfying, crispy crunch. <laughs> I think I found the next ASMR sensation. You heard it here first, folks. Number nine, Bubble Bobble. 
For an awesome effect that appears to defy gravity, try out this next experiment. Place some dry ice in a bowl and crush it into small chunks. Blow some bubbles into the bowl and watch in amazement as they appear to hover and bob along in mid-air above the dry ice without falling to the bottom. The science here is pretty interesting. As the dry ice sits in the bowl, it slowly evaporates into gas. However, as carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air, instead of floating upwards, it remains in the bowl, slowly filling it up like a liquid. This means the bubbles are floating in an invisible pool, presumably with margaritas and little cocktail umbrellas, of course. Though to be honest, that particular pool party sounds a little chilly for my liking. Number eight, flame off. Here's a neat bit of science for you. Place a few pieces of dry ice into a regular drinking glass. Let the ice and the glass get to know each other for a moment. Once they've told a few anecdotes and broken the ice, <laughs> light a match and try to put it in the glass. You'll find the match goes out instantly every time, no matter how quick you are or how frustrated you become. This is because your typical flame needs oxygen to burn. The dry ice gives off carbon dioxide, which displaces the oxygen, leaving the flame unable to continue burning. It's why they use CO2 in a lot of fire extinguishers. In most cases, CO2 is fire's worst enemy. They've even blocked each other on all social media. Number seven, bubble machine. This next one will have your room looking like a nutty professor's laboratory. Start by cutting or burning a hole into the side of a plastic bottle near the top. Next, fill the bottle just under halfway with warm water and drop in some ice. After that, insert a straw into the hole, sealing it to the bottle with duct tape if necessary. Dip the straw into some detergent and water and screw the cap on the bottle. You've built yourself a nifty little bubble machine. As each bubble comes out, put on some gloves and try to catch one. You'll be able to see the smoke inside up close. Number six, DIY ice cream. Ever wanted to make your own ice cream in a flash? It's easier and tastier than you may think with the help of dry ice. Place some crushed dry ice into a blender and blend it until it reaches the consistency of powdery snow. In the meantime, pour one cup of milk, one cup of light cream, a tablespoon of sugar, and a dash of vanilla extract into a tall glass. Remove the dry ice from the blender and whisk it into the glass until it thickens evenly. Now this stuff is going to be super cold at first, so put it in the freezer for a while. I know this seems counterintuitive, but this is a crucial step as it ensures that the dangerously cold dry ice melts while the frozen and cream retains its texture. Number five, carbonation inspiration. Carbonated beverages all work on the same principle and that distinctive fizz is easier to achieve than you might think. Simply fill a plastic bottle with your drink of choice, place a small amount of dry ice inside, screw on the cap and give it a good shake until it dissolves. Make sure to take the cap off a few times during the process to release the pressure. Once the CO2 is dissolved, you're ready to enjoy your freshly fizzed beverage. For the more adventurous, you can also do this with fruit. Fill a cooler with the fruit of your choice. Grapes work extremely well and layer it on top with some large chunks of dry ice. Leave the dry ice to melt overnight and the next day you'll be able to tuck into some oddly delicious fizzy fruits. Number four, icicles. Another culinary treat now, this is an extremely easy and quick way to make popsicles. Take a large block of dry ice and carve out a cylinder on the top, around an inch deep. Fill the crevice with your sweet drink of choice, place a lollipop stick so that it's half submerged, and wait 10 minutes for the liquid to freeze. Once completely frozen, just wiggle the popsicle loose and dunk it in a glass of water so it warms up a little. After that, it's ready to eat. You can even use honey for the same effect and watch in awe as its thickness causes it to bubble under the changing internal pressure. Number three, Ice Ice Captain. While ice may have sunk the Titanic, this bizarre experiment will allow you to create a fleet of your own self-driven ice ships. Fill up a deep tray with water, adding a large amount of food coloring until the water turns a very dark color. Next, grab some coin-sized chunks of dry ice and place them in the water. Immediately, they'll come to life, spiraling and whizzing around like drunken sailors with the keys to their uncle's speedboat. The darkness of the water allows you to see their pretty white trails as they whiz around. Another option is to pierce a small hole in the side of a plastic bottle cap, place some dry ice along with a little bit of water, seal the bottom with cellophane, and place it in the water, watching it leave a brilliant white trail as it propels itself along. Number two, a song of ice and fire. I need to stress that this particular experiment should not be tried at home. 
At the very least, you'll ruin the carpet. At the worst, you'll trigger an end of world scenario, and none of us want that. I mean, we'd never know how Game of Thrones ends. That being said, let's get started. I wanted to see what would happen if I poured molten metals onto dry ice. The results speak for themselves. Initially, the poor height and temperature differences of the two substances combine into a violent eruption, and blobs of molten copper are launched into the air. As the dry ice and molten copper get to know each other, the copper's surface becomes more uniform in color as its individual blobs fuse back together. The sheer energy in the copper, which is approaching 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, can clearly be seen in the way it bounces and undulates on the dry ice. This movement is likely a combination of the internal kinetic energy of the copper molecules, their interaction with the dry ice, and air escaping from underneath. Eventually, the copper calms down a little and even ends up looking quite cozy sunken into its new seat. But don't let that fool you. Liquid metal can be extremely dangerous, so don't try this at home. Number one, how it's made. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to tell you how you can make your own dry ice. And good news, it doesn't even involve breaking into the nearest laboratory. You will, however, need a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher, a thick pair of protective gloves, and an even thicker bag. Place the bag over the spray nozzle of the fire extinguisher and use duct tape to form a seal. Remove the fire extinguisher safety pin and squeeze the handle for three to five seconds. Remove the bag, ensuring your gloves don't have any holes, as even one can leave you frostbitten. Pick up the solid lumps of carbon dioxide that have formed inside the bag. Have fun, but remember, dry ice isn't a toy, and you'll need to be very careful. Negative 110 is no joke. So what was your favorite dry ice experiment from the list? Do you have more that we haven't heard about? We'd love to hear your ideas in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.